All right, you guys, so we just did a video on the Asian pears. We talked about the variety Chijuro over here that is done producing at this moment. And I've enjoyed all of them. They're very, very good pears. And I think that they, uh, when you get them perfectly ripe and they have a nice amount of blush on them, they're getting some good sunlight. The fruits will taste something like cotton candy or bubble gum. Uh, somewhere in between those two flavors. Is, it's just absolutely amazing. I really am a big fan of that pear for that reason. And I don't know if other pears, other varieties of Asian pear will do a similar thing, but uh, if you want to have that similar experience, I can guarantee it as long as you do what I said. You pick them at the right time, you get the blush, the sunlight that you're, you want, and then also you're not having too heavy or too much water in your soil. I dry farm all these fruit trees, guys, to get the most flavor out of them. If it rains, it rains, but ideally what I want is less rain. You know, I want less water to these fruit trees so that I can get a better fruit quality, a better bricks. What I have today is actually a different pear here. It's called Harrow Sweet. It's actually this pear back here that has ripened. Um, quite a lot of fruit this year, about the same as the uh, Chijoro. I've been very impressed with the, both of those varieties. Harrow Sweet, I've been eating these and they remind me a lot of like an, an experience of eating a Bartlett pear. So these are the, you know, typical European pears guys that we're looking at today, not the Asian types. We have one here on the right that's, that's ripe. It's been sitting on the counter for a bit. And then one on the left I picked a couple days ago. Now, this one again, I, it reminds me of eating like a Bartlett, but the inside is really awesome. Like it's a lot like a Camas, where it's very um, dense and um, not gritty at all and very sweet. I would say actually a good way to describe it is kind of like marshmallowy in texture. It's like a pear marshmallow. Wow. This one was even better. So sweet. Lots of pear flavor to it. It's dripping with juice. I'm telling you guys, this is a very good pear. And you know, it's, it's no wonder that this one was bred and went through breeding programs and a lot of, a lot of hobbyist growers, even commercial growers are talking about it. It's a very good piece of fruit. Now, the one thing I want to mention about it, not that it's just, it's also good, but I don't think people realize this is that you got to pick your pears, unfortunately, um, before they're really fully ripe. There's a very short window. It took me a little bit here to figure that out with this tree, but there's a short window, depending on the variety of pear that you guys have, of when you should pick them. And ideally, you should lift them and they should come right off the tree. These have such a long stem, this Harrow Sweet, that it's difficult to tell sometimes. But if you let them really ripen and actually get this yellow color here on the tree, the texture will be ruined. The flavor will probably sort of be there, but the texture is going to be destroyed because they ripen from the inside out. So what you really want to do is get them so that the inside isn't destroyed, isn't ruined. Um, but it's so hard to tell from the inside out because you can only see, see the fruit from the outside. But what you wanna do is harvest them. As I said, get them, you lift them and they should come right off with very little resistance. And then of course, what you could do is you could open up the fruits, maybe a couple of them or one of them. And then look for the seeds. And the seeds should be black, brown, and that's what you should get from these pears to know that they're ripe. And then of course you do your harvest. You can store a lot of them in the fridge. They'll store for a very long time. That's really what typically pears are meant for, not to be eaten in the summer like I'm doing right now, or you can eat them in the summer, right? Let them ripen on your counter for like a week, 10 days, and you get yourself a really awesome pair. So that's kind of this little video here, guys. I didn't want to do anything crazy. I thank you for watching. 
I definitely think you should grow some pears, especially some of these more interesting new varieties. The Harrow varieties are great. I have a Magnus over here. I have the Chijoro. Um, I'm, I'm gonna really try to grow uh, Comus in the future. That's honestly my favorite pear out of all of them. What's this variety? I've had some Fire Blight. So that's really what you guys